joint poll. Over 30,000 people, 144 polling stations were questioned today and by the magic of sophology we're able to predict what we think has happened tonight. And what we're saying is the Conservatives are the largest party. Note they don't have an overall majority at this stage. 314 for the Conservatives, that's down 17. 266 for Labour, that's up 34. The SNP, the Scottish National Party, 34, down 22. Treat that figure with a bit of caution for technical reasons about the exit poll, which I don't need to explain right now. The Liberal Democrats on 14, up 6, and the smaller parties, Plaid Cymru stays on 3, the Greens on 1, none for UKIP, and the others 18. Well, the Prime Minister called this election because she wanted, as she put it, certainty and stability. And this doesn't seem, at this stage, to look like certainty and stability. It could still be that the Conservatives at the end of the day have an overall majority. They need another 12 seats to get that overall majority, 326 as Jeremy was saying a moment ago. But that's just the exit poll. The reality, as Sophie Rayworth was saying, we get the first result in three quarters of an hour, that'll be the first test of the poll. But that's how things look at this stage of the evening. Laura, what do you make of it? Well, David, if these numbers are correct, then Theresa May has played a high-risk political game and she appears she may have lost her gamble. She didn't have to call this election. She only did so to give herself her own mandate and some breathing space during the bumpy ride of Brexit. Just a few weeks ago at the start of the campaign, she seemed almost unassailable. But a very shaky few weeks and an insurgent Labour Party under Jeremy Corbyn may well have dashed the Conservatives' hopes. Now, this exit poll result, it's worth saying, is not not what either of the main parties have been predicting privately. This would be another political surprise with both the British public again defying the expectations of the two largest political parties. Now the Tories do still look like they'll be the largest party. They may yet see themselves with a majority. But Theresa May's promise throughout this campaign was to offer strong and stable leadership. That was her catchphrase. She may well end the night diminished with the situation even more uncertain. But only, of course, your votes, the real results as they come in through the night, will actually dictate what happens next. And um, maybe at this stage, given that we are in this territory of, of uh, waiting to see whether our exit poll is correct, but let's just assume for a moment it is and have a look at what the new House of Commons would be like, Jeremy. Can we do that?